make a big noise playing in the street Gonna be a big man someday You got mud on your face, you big disgrace Kicking your can all over the place We will, we will rock you We will, we will rock you The class of 2021 have much to look back on throughout their Hampton years. They say that your school days are the time of your life and I think that is genuinely true. The times I've had at Hampton, I've loved every minute of it. There have been so many incredible achievements across the board, whether that is out in the sports pitches, on the river, in the theatre or in the classroom and I think that is definitely something that's really, really special about Hampton. Oh, oh my word. Yeah. No, 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 no. As our leavers look back through memories of their Hampton days, it's hard to imagine that not too long ago they were fresh faced new boys eager to start their life as Hamptonians. You all look so innocent. Basically, like on the first day, we came in like a day before, and then I remember all the parents like lined up dropping off these small little kids in like massive jackets just because they knew we were going to grow into them. And my mum took me straight to the door, yeah, I was, I, was, I was quite scared. For many, it will be all the little things that stay in the mind when we look back. When I'm like 70, 80, whatever, and I'm just sat there, and then all you have is the memories, like nothing much else. Well, it's more, the things you remember from Hampton are more like student traditions, so like wearing yellow diaries with shin pads and sports. So basically, you're not, there's this there's phrase, no pads, no play. If you don't wear shin pads, you can't play football. Yellow diaries are a perfect size, so if you slip them into your football socks, if they look, it looks like you're wearing shin pads. We've now ruined it for all the yeah, year. Yeah, we've now fair. ruined it for all the year below. That's the Hampton <laughs> tradition gone. When it comes to making memories, the trips are a key part of school life, and we have been lucky enough to have opportunities to travel far and wide. Uh, I've got to say, one of, my, one of my best times at Hampton was the Malawi trip. It felt like like four or five trips in one. In Malawi, you had the safari, you had the kind of staying in the, the village and helping out like the, the school. You had to kind of stay on the beach, we stayed on an island. My highlight was by far safe, staying in the safe haven, you know, helping the school children. I did a lot of like artwork uh, in the school, in the classrooms. The campsite that we were staying at during the safari was just, you know, right next to all the animals. There was a river right next to it and there were hippos in the river and crocodiles in the river. We were at the swimming pool and then there was just an elephant just going past and it was massive. I'll never forget Mr McVeigh sort of insisting on people doing walks through the Spanish hills even when it's pouring down with rain. When a boy lost their shoe in the, the mud on the walk and had to walk home without a shoe and that was unfortunately me. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a, quite a muddy sock when we got home. The skiing trips are 100% the best trips to go on that I had the start of a week our instructor Ronaldo was and basically stuffed it to us. He was like, I don't speak English. And then he grabbed, <laughs> he grabbed out his phone and said, Google Translate if you want to speak to me. So every time like we went down the slopes, you'd have to stop and Google Translate to put something to us and then one of us would have to try and reply. <laughs> so so we, we'd have to get our phone out as well and show him what we were trying to say. Can I talk about the pole lift? Because it's a really, really funny story. Oh my God. <laughs> In the resort, there was one big uh, pole lift. When we first started going on it, we would start, we'd play a game where as you go along, you leave your pole in the snow for the next person to pick up. Um, and we weren't very successful, so most of the times we would just drop the poles and they'd go down. We got to the top of the lift, no one had their pole. <laughs> and then Ronaldo, who's at, the, who's at the back of the lift, comes up and he had the entire group of poles in his arms. And he, he got quite angry, shouted at us and told us we were behaving like nursery children. Tomorrow of Olympic Games. <laughs> Everyone in our year group has their own sort of special personality. I think when we come together, it creates this incredible fusion of different characteristics, which I think makes us so special. We know how to take things seriously, but at the same time, we definitely know how to have fun. Take on the world someday You got blood on your face You big dis-
Whatever your ability, sport plays a big part in the lives of many Hamptonians. The Upper Sick football squad has played together for much of the last seven years, enjoying competition glory, superb trips and lasting friendships. I've been in the team with these guys since first year and all the way up and so I've become really good friends with them and we like to play passing football, sort of the Guardiola style. We don't really play the kind of football which is just long booting over the top, so it's quite enjoyable to watch. People get a kick out of watching our technical style. Yeah, definitely, I'm, I'm definitely going to miss it. I think um, it's a weird thing, we've been playing together for like seven years. Yeah, it's definitely something I'll miss. When it comes to footballing prowess, look no further than Wednesday afternoon's Social League. We all sort of got together with our friends and we made our own teams with our year, the lower sixth and the upper sixth. It's just a fun, sort of less pressurised way of playing football and it's probably slightly higher quality too. But. <laughs> There's a very vast range of um, skill levels. Sometimes you're good, sometimes you're bad, sometimes in the same game. <laughs> it's quite unpredictable. I don't think many other schools do it. I think it's a really good thing because if you just want to do some sort of sport on an afternoon, don't want to play against other schools necessarily, you just want to play with your mates, then it's a really good organised way of doing that. Our rugby players have much to be proud of. We've won some pretty big tournaments, we've won some big, big matches together, and it's just been pretty good. Essentially growing up with these 15 lads around you, it's been a really great experience. No strangers to the big occasion, the three-time winners of the Middlesex Cup have played at some of the top stadiums, including Allianz Park. Oh yeah, it was awesome. We, we've been very lucky to get opportunities to play at such amazing places. Such a high level of rugby at such a big stadium, it's just pretty cool. And those are memories I'm going to take with me as long as I live, really. Our rowers too have bonded through hours of tough training, week in, week out. So we all started in J14. We started off as a pretty strong year group. In our first race, we went to the scullery where we had five or two pools, gold medalling. Then we went on to national schools in the summer uh, where we got a gold and silver, both in the B category. One of the key things is um, not everything's necessarily going to go your way. And sometimes, you know, you face hardship. But if you enjoy what you're doing, it doesn't matter too much where you are, you know, what place you come, what career you're in. You're just, uh, you're just there to enjoy it. What haven't I gained from rowing, to be honest? It's just been a pleasure. I've, I've met some really lovely people um, and I've gained so many experiences. I feel like it creates a bond. You've been in the same situation. You've pushed in a race as hard as you can for each other. You trust each other. It's really something special. Our senior cricketers enjoyed a perfect ending to their Hampton cricketing careers. This year, uh, we've had a very good season, very good memories shared. Over the last seven years, we bonded really well as a team. We're all pretty good mates. Yeah, it's nice to have that atmosphere. And on the field, we're brilliant. We're always buzzing. It's been fantastic. We've put in some really good performances across the seven years that we've played. And we get some really strong sides, so really good fun. Hampton boys engage in an impressive range of co-curricular interests. The work of our Genocide 8020 campaign group has achieved national recognition in recent years. When I first came to Hampton, I don't think I ever would have imagined I'd have ended up doing something like this. I might be going to talk to Stephen Fry or go to the House of Lords or the Imperial War Museum. Uh, we've gone from a general idea we want to raise awareness to a strong movement which is able to have a decent reach. Since we've joined the group, we've done a lot of important work. I think my personal highlight is probably going to the Channel 4 studios and talking to Jon Snow and um, Lindsay Hilson. I look back with immense pride on all the things we've done. Uh, I think it's really incredible that starting from the position of just a group of schoolboys with a desire to raise awareness, we've been able to make such a tangible change. From Bugsy Malone to punk rock, this year group has shone on stage. 
Yeah, I was I was cast as Fat Sam in Bugsy Malone. We had these guns that shot out silly string. That depicts the the mess that was made. So I think Moby Dick was from the beginning. It was quite an ambitious project. I don't think the school had ever gone to the fringe for a play before. We had a reviewer there as well. Yeah, we had a reviewer there who then wrote a really gave nice us four review. Stars? Yeah, gave us four stars um, for our performance. So the senior musical Return to the Forbidden Planet was probably the best experience I've had at Hampton. I think drama as a whole, um, in my experience, has been an incredibly formative thing. I really cannot recommend it enough. Where the sun shines bright on Loch Lomond Our musicians have also excelled. Many boys will look back with particular pride on their time as part of Hampton's male voice choir, Voices of Lions. We're a big choir of like 40 people. I, it is actually, I do think it's a miracle how it sounds so good. In rehearsals we never kind of get it perfect, but then we always need to get it, we always get it on that for, on that recording or in that performance, we always get it right at the right time. Creating that sort of full rich sound um, only happens because every single member of the choir has the sort of confidence to make a big sound. And that all comes from the confidence that we have being a choir that gets on incredibly well. It's said that you will never know anyone quite as well as your schoolmates. So, we decided to put that to the test and invite our departing of a sixth into our very own diary room. Who was the biggest style Max, icon? Maxi, Maxi Grinley. Maxi, Maxi Grinley, not 100%. 100%. Maxi Grinley has got the most strip I think I've ever seen on a Mufti yeah, day. Yeah, Maxi Grinley on Mufti day is just a, a must watch. Those fur coats on Mufti day. Oh, yeah, nice. Well. I like the clip on earrings. And yes. Oh, oh, too drippy. He just consistently looks like he's been on a gap year. He, he knows how to dress to a dress. Colour coders. A little bit of spice with the flares. Mm. Who would win in a Hampton School Hunger Games? I reckon, Pandy's uh, no, yeah, I reckon yeah, one yeah. of the rugby players. Be one of the rugby players. Who would win in a Hampton School Hunger Games? Yestin Humphrey. Yestin Humphrey. <laughs> uh, my money's on Yestin. It's ferocious. I think David Ellis. David Ellis. Uh, yeah, yeah, David Ellis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run for everybody. <laughs> the, who's stopping him? <laughs> Who is most likely to return to Hampton as a teacher? Ooh. It's no, Jack Slaney. Jack Slaney? Jack Slaney has said he wants to return as a teacher. He said he wants to be a teacher. Matt Evan Smith. As a geography teacher. Yeah, Matt Evan Smith. It's definitely Angus. I would do that. Yeah. I think Angus I would. or Matt Evan Smith. Ben Martis Jones. <laughs> oh, yeah. You definitely would. Oscar, isn't it? Oscar Leon. Oscar Leon again. again. Mm. Who is most likely to return to Hampton as a teacher? You. Yes. Who's most likely to get lost at Disneyland? Oh, the so Louis Strick and Sweeney. Yeah. Jamie Bird. Oh, Jamie Bird. Yeah, Satin yeah, yeah, yeah. with <laughs> On the On the choir tour, we had this joke that everyone would turn up to meet in the place. Yeah. And I'd just be like, where's Satin? Oh, I'm I'd speaking most likely to get lost. I mean, I'd on the way here. So, you, you, you can get lost. You went to the wrong room on the way here. Well, I'd say to Rami Francini. Uh, who was always late? We are obligated by law to say Theo <laughs> Bailey. Theo Bailey. I, I am always late. Theo Bailey. Alex Taylor. Who was always late? Alex Taylor. Me. Alex Taylor. Always late. Ooh. Theo, Theo Bailey. Bailey. Yeah. Theo, Bailey. <laughs> Theo Bailey. Theo Bailey. came out short of the legs. womb That's a month it. late. That's Just how short late. legs. With their time as Hampton schoolboys now drawn to a close, we wish the class of 2021 the very best as they move on to the next stages in their lives. Without doubt, they have a very bright future ahead of them. My time as Hampton boy has been, it's honestly been amazing. It's been a privilege and an honour to be at Hampton and I'm sad to leave. Everything I've wanted from sports to academics to just friendship has been perfect really, yeah. We're going to walk away with some, so many wonderful memories um, and friends for life and all the fun in the classroom as well. It's been just the time of our lives. This is saying you don't know what you have till you've lost it and I think that's, that's definitely uh, very true. I think we're all going to miss Hampton so much. 
the camaraderie between the boys has made our time so special. And they say that once a Hamptonian, always a Hamptonian, and I think it is those relationships that make that come true. Um, so just a big thank you to everyone. I'm hugely proud to have been a part of, of this year group and a part of this school. And I think that's going to be my abiding memory of Hampton is how much fun we had. Looking back, I don't think I'll change any of it for the world, really.